Danny, a good point away to Stockport, and now attention turns to Solly Hull at home on Tuesday. Yeah, no, look, I think that we 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 weren't great on Saturday um, by our standards, but to to get a point is is something that we've been we we haven't been able to do before. We haven't played games before where we've been poor and then get get something out of it and. I think the effort, I can't fault the effort, the lads dug in, we, we, we were resolute, we were resilient and I think that we're all the first to admit that with the ball we weren't anywhere near as good as we normally are. So to, as I said, to, to come away with a point against one of the teams that, to be honest, I think they'll, they'll be up there, if not the team that wins the league this year. So no, a, great, a great result for us. Um, and a clean sheet as well. Yeah, yeah, and look, Mitch, Mitch made made two or three very even crucial saves. One at the end of the first half, um, obviously the penalty save, and he makes one. There's a little deflection just before the penalty, and I think that when you when you've got those those players that are capable of doing those things, it's, listen, you've always got a chance, and obviously that sets us up nicely for uh, for Solihull. And looking at Solihull, they were a very physical side last time we played them. Is that the same sort of thing you're expecting this time round? Yeah, there's potentially some personnel changes that obviously we won't know until we get the team sheets. But we're we're kind of anticipating those, and I think that with with Solio, they're a team that's invested well this year. Their their ambition is to get promoted. I don't, they don't make any secret of that. We had quite a open and frank conversation with one of their uh, one of their senior staff last time they were at, at the game, and they were quite clear on their vision for the club. So listen, we know it's going to be a really tough game against them, and. But we also know we're capable of, of, of beating them. So that's that's what we're hoping to do tonight. Because it's a bit different now. Obviously, we beat them in the trophy earlier on this this season and now back to the league as well. So it's a bit more of a different impetus for the game. Yeah, look, I think that when, when, you, when it's league games, it's about making sure you're consistently putting points on the board. And, and there comes the stage in the game where you're thinking, right, OK, just get something out of it. I mean, obviously, the, the, first, the first and foremost foremost thing for us is to go and win the football match tonight but we, we listen the, we don't know what the pitch is going to play like we have to we have to take it as it comes and I think from our perspective we know that if we if we can improve our performance from Saturday with the ball we, we're capable of beating anybody because they had a small break since they last played with their postponement and they'll be looking to bounce back from the 2-0 defeat away to Hartlepool last time they played as well yeah I think it's going to be a common theme H if I'm honest that the with, especially now that the COVID testing implemented by the league I think that you're going to see more games. Uh, in fact, there's, we haven't really got many Tuesdays left. I think we've got two Tuesdays left between now and the end of the season. We're not playing and we've played 21 games. So I think you're going to be seeing teams playing Saturday, Tuesday, Thursday quite quite soon. And obviously, for our perspective, we want to keep the games going and so we don't have any breaks. I mean, it, it can work both ways for you. That might help them with a couple of little niggly injuries. It might, it might knock them out of their stride. So listen, I think we just have to wait and see what they bring to the table. And looking at our preparation, obviously we've had a few injuries here and there, and obviously a few that's been mentioned is the likes of Ross and Cormac and Mike Fonda. What's the latest with them? So, um, at the, as it stands at the moment, Mike Fonda, we we're not in a financial position to offer him an extension to his contract. So, until anything changes in that department, that's how that will stand. Um, Ross McCormack, yeah, he's he's not far away. He's he's back running. He's he's doing some ball work yesterday in training. So look, we, he's not far away. I think you'll probably see uh, Ross Kins and Craig Tanner. I don't think they'll be too much apart between those three returning. Which will be a good site for fans to see as well. Three and yeah, nine. having three new players. I mean, we have we haven't had well Kins we haven't had at all. Um, Tanner we only had for six games, and Ross um, had a first half appearance against Woking, and I know he had a substitute appearance away at Dover, but. We haven't seen them. So, yeah, it's going to be like having three brand new players. And we'll be looking to continue our good home form recently, especially with the win against Barnet last time we played here. Yeah, we, we, you want to make... It's hard to make a, a venue a fortress when you haven't got any fans in it. And I think that, that always... It always makes them a little bit of... Like, like a shell of a stadium as opposed to a, the atmosphere that can be created. But we want if we can get points on the road like we did on saturday and then be consistent at home i think you've got a chance of 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 pushing yourselves up the table and i think that's the message that we've sent to the lads this morning are you in with a shot more information below click here for the next video click here to subscribe